So uh, today the, we uh, start soon to, to um, talking about lignin, and now we are following to talk uh, about lignin. But in this case, it's uh, about the, uh, the 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 utilization of the electrochemical processes to obtain um, to obtain higher value chemical from uh, from lignin. So just just an introduction. Here, I mean, the, 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 the important thing when you start to, to decide to obtain value chemical from lignin is to decide which kind of lignin you want to use and you have to use. Because as you can see in this paragraph, is in this graphic, sorry, if you want to obtain a, a high added value chemical, you have to use uh, lignin-based products with a, also with a high uh, sales value. So, uh, at the, at the beginning, it's, it's very difficult or quite impossible to obtain high added value chemical from uh, low cost, uh, so, so, the, the, so the lowest cost lignin uh, products. So how we can obtain this kind of, uh, these molecules? I mean, you say one of them is a catalytic transformation of lignin. And, uh, and normally there are cracking, uh, cracking processes, hydrolysis process, uh, reduction. But in our case, the oxidation is quite interesting because at the end it's, it's quite normal to obtain uh, more complex aromatic compounds with uh, additional functionalities. Normally these oxidation routes are based on uh, homogeneous catalysis or heterogeneous catalysis. But, uh, but in this case, we want to remark the heterogeneous catalysis because uh, we, have, we, we, have been, we have seen, uh, for example, the, the, the presentation from Roman from Sintef about the, the catalytic uh, fragment uh, of, of lignin. There are a lot of bibliography uh, and a lot of processes, uh, catalytic process from, from, from the lignin. But uh, there are some of kind of, uh, of processes called we can call that uh, unconventional activation methods to obtain this, uh, to, to degrade lignin, obtain basic chemical, like for example, photocatalysis, mechanochemistry, sonochemistry, or microwave. What happened with electrochemistry? At the end, electrochemistry, the, the best point is that the, you can obtain high selectivity values through, uh, uh, through this kind of processes. But up to now, there is a, problem about what's happened if we want to scale up this process. So to achieve this large scale, uh, it is because uh, Liberate exists. And Liberate is the acronym of, uh, of the project lignin biorefinery approach using electrochemical flow. Just at the, 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 the big picture of the process, of the, of the project is that the concept of the Liberate is to, to develop uh, and demonstrate uh, electrochemical process to obtain basic chemicals uh, following uh, constructing a, a pilot plant uh, to do that and obtain these biosustainable chemicals. Basically, the lignin, then through a, a, the flow electrochemical process, uh, the separation, and then the validation uh, in different kind of uh, of, uh, of commercial chemicals. Just an overview of the project, Liberate is a quite big project uh, consortium of uh, 16 partners with, uh, with uh, a budget around 10 million euro, where uh, you can see there are five uh, partners from Spain, Enso, Oxid, Leitat, Edener, and University of Alicante, from Netherlands, TNO, and MS Filtration, from Greece, Kimar, Elas, and Mega Resins, from Germany, Ebonik, Johannes Gutenberg Universitat of Mainz, Condias, and Van Hofer. From Sweden, Sperstop. From Denmark, Gate to Grow. And from Norway, Sinter. So, uh, what kind of processes we want to, to scale up in, at, um, at Liberate? So, basically, three different processes. The, best, the first one, and all of them, uh, depending on the, as you can see, the starting material. The first one is the craft lignin. So it's the obtention of vanillin from the, from the graph lignin. The second one <clears throat> is the, uh, the, the electrochemical degradation of the organosol lignin to obtain a mixture of phenolic compounds that, that can be uh, used for the, as, uh, the obtention of antioxidant, phenolformaldehyde resin, caprolactones, or aldehyde, aromatic aldehydes. 
And the last one is not, is not directly related with the lignin, but this is related with the, with the, with the biomass, uh, boot biomass in general. That is the, the, of the transformation of cyclohexanols obtaining from boot or straw to, uh, to obtain the three propyl adipic acid as a dropping replace of the, of the adipic acid and study this uh, monomer to, uh, to obtain polyamides and polyester resins. So as all projects, we have our main objectives. So the first, uh, the first one, I mean, regarding the pure uh, yield of the reactions, we want to obtain uh, the vinyling from the graph linking uh, with uh, up to 7% uh, of yield. The, um, from the organosol lignin to obtain uh, uh, up to 35% of yield of phenolic mixture derivatives and up to 80% of propyl adipic acid from the propyl cyclohexanol. And at the end, as because we are talking about uh, the scale up of the process, we want to demonstrate a biorefinery process that can use and that can work using the renewable energy fluctuation without any loss of, of, of efficiency. Then. Is, uh, to obtain these kind of compounds and for sure to uh, decrease the CO2, um, the CO2, the CO2 uh, production from uh, comparing with the petrochemical alternatives. So as you can see here in, the, in this slide, uh, this is the value chain of Liberate from the starting material to the market compounds. And as you can see, uh, the, the consortium of Liberate covered perfectly all the, 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 the parts of the value chain, taking into account the electrochemical process, the flow system, the system demonstrator, and the validation as uh, taking, thinking about energetic business and LCA. So uh, up to now, we are more or less, uh, we are not in the middle of the project, but we are now, we are, we are finalizing the development of the, of the different uh, of the different processes. Uh, so up to now, we are, we are few, um, few uh, results that we can show to you because uh, now we are in the development. Also, there are some, uh, some uh, intellectual property behind. So if we think about the organosol lignin, uh, in the Liberate, we have produced several uh, organosol lignins from different kind of biomass, soft wood, hard wood, and herbaceous. And the idea is to, uh, to obtain different kind of organosol lignin and study um, if, this, uh, if we can uh, improve the electrochemical depolymerization efficiency. And up to now, we are validate all this organosol lignin and we obtain and we observe uh, significant changes in the, in the behavior to, uh, to be taken into account for the, uh, for the final scale up of the, of the process. If we, uh, if we talk about the, the electrochemical reactor, at the end, we are working with uh, several kind of reactors, but uh, we are more or less focused on filter per reactor, like the, like the, the image that you can see in, in, in the screen, and also two our reactors. Uh, regarding the electrodes, we are we are we are doing a very huge uh, uh, study about different materials for the reactor, and at the end uh, we are moving basically also uh, using additives, additive manufacturing uh, technology to produce these electrodes, and also uh, the activation by chemical vapor deposition. The electrodes that we are produce uh, in Liberate uh, can survive more than 15 years working at, um, at quite a high uh, current regarding the electrochemical processes, that 2,400 million per, per centimeter square, without any loss of efficiency or physical uh, corrosion or physical uh, damage. And at the end, uh, the reactor are in progress, as, as, uh, are in progress to be tested and to validate for the final implementation in the, in the pilot plan. And regarding 
the electrochemical process and the downstream, uh, if we go to the production of the vinylin, we obtain vinylin from commercial craft lignin up to 6% of the yield. That is more or less three times higher than the actual commercial process. And we are moving around the 91% of effectiveness if we compare with the uh, with, uh, theoretical higher yield, higher yield that you can uh, obtain. Regarding the propyl adipic acid production, we are moving around the 60% year. But as that I commented before, we are, we are up to now, we are uh, optimizing this, this process because we are not finished. And um, these both reactions are, are, are um, test, uh, have, uh, have been tested using large electrode system. And, um, and it's, uh, it's established that uh, both, uh, both uh, processes can um, run uh, with, uh, without change, uh, significant changes regarding yield of selectivity. And regarding the downstream process, uh, not to now, we are moving only in lab test uh, before to, uh, to select the, 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 the final downstream processes for the pilot plan. So we are moving using uh, uh, membrane filtration and we achieve selectivity, selectivities around 80% for lignin and up to 75% for different phenolic compounds. And also we, uh, we achieve uh, 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 good uh, around 100% of the aromatic phenols uh, recovered uh, if, we, uh, if we combine the use of uh, the membrane plus uh, an ion exchange resin system. At the end, as you can see, this is the timeline of Liberate. We are more or less now here in the middle in between March 2020 and September 2020. So we are now in a critical point because as you can see in September, in the next September, we should uh, confirm the, the process chemistry. And then we have one year to, to build and commission the, the pilot line uh, in September 2021. And at the end, the last year of the project is to uh, demonstrate the production of, the, of, the, of this pilot line and also the validation of the utilization of the, of the compounds from this pilot line in uh, different commercial application from our different uh, end users, as I said, polyamide, polyester, antioxidant, phenol from the high resins, etc. So uh, that is all. Thank you very much. Uh, this is the picture of about our consortium in uh, the first uh, meeting in October 2019. And this is the, the third meeting in uh, September 2019. The last meeting was in online version also because uh, it was during the pandemic crisis. So uh, thank you very much for your time. Uh, as you said, like I said, it's, uh, it's a project, a running project. Now we don't have uh, finished, uh, we don't have finished our, our, um, our test. So I, uh, I hope that we can share with you in another time, future uh, new good results.